Let's have a look at this typical case of a disorder of a toluene molecule across the symmetry element. So we got the structure so far, now we see these peaks here and they're quite high for, so they're not bogus, there's something going on here. We can first see whether they come together somehow and they do, but that doesn't look like anything very useful. So in that case, let's not forget that things might have to grow, control G and we get these growing bonds and if you click on them then we can see there's really something in there and you can maybe make out that there's a six-membered ring here with a carbon out here and another six-membered ring and then that's an overlaid carbon. How do we model this in Olex2? Well the idea is to possibly use the uh, fragment db tool and what we do uh, we type toluene and there it comes and we set it to part minus one because it's across the symmetry element and we set the occupancy to 0 0.5. Once we've done that we go fit and that inserts that tolly in here. So all we now need to do is match that carbon with that Q peak and then a second atom. So we click on the atom in the imported ring and on that Q peak and if we zoom in, that looks fairly good already, except we probably want that pair as well. Once we're done, we hit the escape key at the bottom here and we fitted this whole toluene into the structure. This step is a little bit fiddly and needs a bit of practice, but it's not very hard once you know what you're doing. So let's refine this just as it is, Control R, and we can see how the full uh, this ordered part is visible on the screen. We go Arnis and type R, Control R again to uh, make it all anisotropic. H add to it won't let me um, add hydrogens to this because it's a grown structure, so we need to type fuse first. H add and refine this again, and we get a rather nice disordered molecule of toluene here. Now Control G doesn't really show you this because it's growing across a symmetry element, but what you need is the command mode grow minus V. And now you see little growing bonds on this entity here. This was not the right one to use. Let's try um, this one here. No, there's one over here that we need. So it's a bit fiddly maybe. But now we go, we've got the um, overlaid control Q again to see it. So we see how this molecule is overlaid on top of each other here across the symmetry element. Okay, I think this is reasonably simple and straightforward to do. Um, thanks for using Olix too.